Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, on today with entry number five, I think number five, into my winter loaded bag swap. This entry today comes from Miss D. Reed, who is Mini Road Designs on Instagram, and she has sent one to swap. It looks absolutely gorgeous um before we get into it i'll go over the details um so they had to follow my tutorial to make this loaded bag from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper we had to include 10 die cuts three bows six flowers three bag toppers one decorated and two not uh two sets of pink outside the box embellishments and what I meant by that was like no rosette, no paper ruffles, none of the things that we see all the time, you know, something different. Um, a coordinating sequence mix, a memory deck with their information on the back, and then a store bought goodie, five to ten dollars. So let me straighten this camera and look at this beautiful, fluffy yarn that she's got wrapped around it's pink and lovely and goes great with the collection she chose this is an echo park collection i used it to make an album so i know it's really cute excuse the crinkling Okay, so she sent her shipping, uh, return shipping for me. Thank you for that. Move this to the side, and I will make sure to put everything back the way you had it for the recipient. Let's start digging in, and then I'll show you the, uh, the decorations here on the front, because if I lift it up, everything will fall out. <laughs> Oh, so here, uh, first off, we have the coordinating sequence mix that she went with the whole white and clear and iridescence feel. Very pretty. It's, the, it's those white and pink iridescent sequins. There's some little tiny jimmies in there. Some little, you see those little clear dots? Clear little balls in there. Very cute. Lovely little sequence mix. That would be a great base and you could add colors to it if you wanted. But great little starter base there. Or use just as, as is like she has here in this shaker. Let's see. Next up we've got a cute little snowman die cut. It has her little information on the back. There, like I said, she's a mini row designs on Instagram. And I will have her linked in the description box down below. Next up, we've got what I'm assuming to be her little embellishments. Two of her embellishments. So she made these really cool little pennant flags she decorated one very cute i love this like a <clears throat> iridescent or holographic um acetate snowflake in the background and then she's got this pink glittery snowflake layered on top of that and then we have the little penguin sticker and it says, let's go out and play in the snow. She's even got this little snowflake here. And she's got a little dewdrop here. So pretty. I love that sparkle. And then she left the second one blank for you, for the recipient to decorate. I love that one. Decorate one and leave the other one uh, for the recipient give you an idea how to decorate it next we have i think two more of her embellishments 
And these are little coffee cups. And she did the same thing where she decorated one and left one blank for you, for the recipient to decorate. How cute is that, though? Love the pink cup. She's got this, um, like, dripping down the side of the cup. And she's got a little cookie stuffed in there. Some marshmallows. Some more marshmallows here. And then she layered up these gorgeous snowflakes there. I love the paper choices for the snowflakes. And another little dewdrop and another little uh, <clears throat> snowflake sequence. Very cool, very cool. Okay. I'm going to start putting these back in here so I don't forget. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'm going to put that bag with that. Okay. Ooh, we have more in here. These must be her bag toppers. Cute little bitty bag toppers. So she's decorated the one. Very cute. And then she's got these two that are ready for you to decorate and use however you'd like. Perfect. Mm, that's it for the front pocket. The, the second short expandable pocket, we've got die cuts. Who doesn't love snowflake die cuts they're so elegant especially with these papers that she's used how pretty i knew that was gonna happen so we've got a couple little ones where did that other one go i thought i dropped another one but we'll find it you can see this in my hand see that's that um pink like holographic acetate type material very cool and then she's got this one in the pink glitter another one in that material maybe that's that mylar from joann's i don't know we got this one they're absolutely gorgeous though this one these look great layered up together like she's shown us on when she's decorated with them. Absolutely stunning. Love that one. This one. I need some big, big snowflake dies in my life. Yes, I do. Except this one. Ugh. And then we have some that are in just plain white, which is always good. Very cool. Love me some snowflake die cuts. Because especially ones like these, very intricate and a lot of work went into popping out all those pieces. After die cutting it. Oh, I won't get those back in there on screen, so we will do that after the video. Next, we have our bows and look at that dimensional she used that she must have used that five millimeter um foam and made the bag topper a shaker beautiful mix inside and she was not stingy with it at all <laughs> and then look how gorgeous these bows are so she used the snowflake bow which I think comes from Chaos Craft, if I'm not mistaken. Here, let me take these out because the glare is just not doing them justice. She's got them backed on a piece of acetate. And if you can see, okay, so she's got the snowflake layer and then the bow layer. And then she's got these adorably cute pink pom-poms as the centers absolutely stunning this one's just a little bit different 
very pretty. Oh yeah, this, see this is like a double layered one. Oh, they're they're all double layered. I just couldn't see because <laughs> the papers are a little bit similar. But yeah, they're all double layered bows with the little snowflake in the back. These are super cute. Great job, Misty. I'm going to try to slide these back in here. There we go. Next, we have her memory deck card. Let me see if I can open this up. So she used the same dye that I did that I was talking about how it's so hard to poke out those little holes in the in the foam. But she did it. She sure did it. Look at that. And she used the like a that pink mylar as as the uh, background piece. She's got a banner sticker, this snowman, the snowflake layered up a little dew drop in the middle and the word winter and of course this little snowflake down here just absolutely gorgeous i love the pinks and the blues together i think it's stunning very good job on that and she does have her um is a little I can show you this it doesn't have her address it has like a little QR code on the back so you can find all of her social media that's pretty cool okay, I'm gonna put this back in here then we move on to our tall pocket O M G look how good gorgeous these flowers are wow okay i definitely need to put glitter on my flowers because these are just stunning so she's made four large and one two three four small of the same style aren't they stunning let me take them out here She's layered up the snowflake behind the big ones to give it just that little extra. It, it almost looks like foliage, you know, um, coming out from the back of the flowers. But wow. Wowzers. These are gorgeous. I need these. I want these flowers. Oh, posting this swap is so hard because you guys all have such amazing things in your swaps and i want to swap with all of you <laughs> so gorgeous oh and then of course we looked right over this um bag topper again she used that thick foam and layered it up and used this my favorite pink glitter paper from michael's and and was very generous with the sequins mixed inside it's such a fun shaker gotta love that okay and then last but not least here on the back she has I'm not going to take this off because I don't want the paper to rip but she has um, made the snowflake shaker here on the back absolutely stunning She's like a white shimmer paper for that snowflake. And then this must be her store-bought goodies. She's got them on there with removable dots. I can take... Oopsie. I ripped the paper a little bit. Um, but this is the store-bought goodie. So she's included some of these white acrylic snowflakes. And then some of these silver, uh, um, silver snowflake buttons, it looks like. So very cool, very cool. Perfect for the swap. And that does it for Miss 
Oh, no, no. Let's look at the front pocket. So she's uh, used this. So she used a pink um, cardstock, a pink textured cardstock for the actual base of the loaded pocket. And then she matted with this really cool um, flannel type design. And then she um, used probably a cut apart from the collection here. Um, it says walk I don't know winter wonderland something <laughs> um, and it's got the snowman and then she's got this little she's layered I love how she layers these um, snowflakes the little acetate one and then the glitter one and then she's got this little bring on the cozy sticker in the middle and then she's even taking the time to glue these little sequins on where there are other snowflakes on the paper. Very cute. Great job, Misty. Um, can't thank you enough for uh, participating in my swap. I hope you had fun making everything. It sure looks beautiful. If anyone watching has any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the description or in the comments and I'll get back with you. Make sure you check out Misty and follow her on Instagram if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.